Good evening and welcome to the PM edition of Midweek Mana. We are continuing our uh, time around developing seven habits to grow spiritually strong. I apologize. I had a brain space for a second there. Anyway, we've talked about uh, this morning, we talked about spending time in quiet. And this evening, uh, number four is spending time with others. And I know it seems kind of weird to have that as one of your habits, is to spend time with others in order to grow spiritually strong. But think about it. You can't really grow in a vacuum. You, you can't learn in a vacuum. You have other people around you to challenge you, to uh, encourage you, to support you, and you do the same thing with them. And so when you spend time with others uh, throughout the day, it doesn't have to be like physically together. You could text the person, you could email the person, you can phone the person and say, you know what, I'm having a hard time today. Can you help me with this? And can you pray for me for that? And in turn, they can do the same for you. You can, they can call you and say, hey, I need you to pray for me or to uh, uh, help me with this particular situation I'm going through. Uh, advise me spiritually what I should do and so those moments really let you know if you are indeed growing spiritually strong you know for me if I, I give you an example is that when people come to me um, as a pastor with challenges and situations if my mind can go to scripture that tells me that I am growing spiritually and in that moment I don't have to pull the Bible out I can just go to my brain and know that the scripture I'm pulling out is one I've reflected on and prayed about and discerned. And in that moment, what it tells me is that, hey, I can memorize scripture, and hey, I know when and how to use scripture in talking to other people. So I encourage you to spend time with others to continue to grow spiritually. And it's challenging because as an introvert, we don't wanna be around people. But I can tell you that as an introvert, it is important for me to have people around me to encourage me, support me, pray for me and for me to do the same thing with them. I want to leave you with uh, a scripture. Ecclesiastes chapter 4. This may sound very familiar to some of you. Verses 9 through 12. Two are better than one because they have a good re reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up the other. But woe to the one who is alone and falls and does not have another to help. Again, if two lie, da lie down together, they keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? And though one might prevail against another, two will withstand one. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. You can't live alone. God didn't create, create us to walk through this journey alone. We were created to have friends, to have family, to have partners, to have that other person or other people to help us be the person that God wants us to be. Will you pray with me? Gracious God, I thank you for this time, this day, this morning, and this evening that we could continue to talk about the seven habits to grow spiritually strong daily. God, continue to open up our minds and our hearts and our uh, souls to what it is that you would have us to do. And I pray, God, that whenever somebody listens to this morning, uh, in the afternoon, the evening, or even in the middle of the night, that you will give them something from this time. May something that you have said through me or me even me using myself as an example, give them strength and encourage them on their journey. I thank you, God, for allowing me to uh, share with others and as you continue to bless all of us. In Christ's name, amen. I pray you have a good night, a good morning, a good afternoon, and whatever it, whatever it is, just know that God has your back. Take care. Bye-bye.